wondering if I'ma ever blow Middle ground Tearing at the fabric of my soul Middle ground Feeling like I'm stuck up in a hole And these insecurities follow everywhere I go Middle ground Feeling like I'm barely getting Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. Today we're going to go ahead and spray all these parts in uh, gold and uh, transparent blue. So we're going to go ahead and take your long process. We went ahead and did all the bullshit work behind the scenes so you don't have to watch all the boring stuff. We're going to go ahead and spray this stuff down and then show you guys how it looks whenever it comes out the oven. This, this is a really important one because people have this idea that somehow I'm 30 years old, I shouldn't be doing this anymore. I'm 50 years old, I should have learned by now. That's all bolt. Throw that away. Toss that shit aside. You, like, these ideas of numbers that people have in their head that by a certain age, you should br stop. You are alive. And if you are alive, and if you are thinking, all those numbers that you keep attaching, well, you know, when Einstein was 30, he had shut the fuck up, stop doing that. That, that is a waste of your time. And stop saying to yourself, I should be better by now. I'm such a total non-helping thought. What you need to think of is life. You're living, you're alive right now, and if you've made a mistake and you're still continuing to learn and grow, that's exactly. all just data. You are not your past. You're you. You're you right now. Like the past you did, you might have done some things you wish you hadn't done. Don't dwell on that. You can learn from it, that's fine, but don't dwell on it. Just keep moving. Keep moving. You know, use it. Use it as fuel. Say, never again. You know, I, I, get, I get what I did wrong, but don't think that you're that person that made those mistakes. You're the person who's learned, you know? And th to have that attitude is a really important thing. And to not say, why am I doing this now? I could have been doing this my whole life. Well, you, you weren't, so <laughs> the f is that going to help? Yeah. You know, you got to just got to not think like that. You just got to be happier doing it now. If I look back on anything I've ever done, mistakes I've ever made, um, paths that I, you know, what, something that I put out that I didn't quite think, man, maybe I just waited three months before I released that, or maybe I should have, you know, re-edited that blog post a couple more times before I put it online, or those things drive me crazy. The, the pity things that I've done have dri driven me crazy, but yelling at someone I didn't have to yell at them for, or whatever. But the, the most important thing is always for all people to recognize that you're not who you were a year ago. Yeah, you're not who you were five yeah. years ago. You're not who you were last week. You're who you are now, and this is the only shit you have control over. So you got to regulate how much you dwell on regrets of the past. you really yeah. got to be careful because it's good to have a little because my regrets, whether it's things of professional nature or the very few regrets friendship wise which is one thing that makes me very happy but you know there's there's life is strange there's a lot going on there's a, there's a lot of factors happening in life but for sure who i am now wouldn't have ever happened if i didn't f up if i didn't make those mistakes i wouldn't have understand the importance of friendship and kindness and if i did, hadn't been cruel at some point in my life or someone hadn't been cruel to me i wouldn't understand the beauty of love i, I would have to i wouldn't understand the full range of it because i hadn't felt the sting if nobody ever punches you in the face you don't really appreciate safety because a lot of people don't even understand what safety is you put oh we're safe we're safe but you are so not safe it's way better to drive your car straight after you almost lost control on a turn and then you get back straight, you're like, whoa. I'm not saying that you should go sideways around corners. But what I am saying is that there's a fucking yin and a yang to this world, man. And you gotta fuel yourself with the fuck ups. And most people get stuck in these patterns because they define themselves as a fuck up. Or they define themselves as a person who doesn't follow through on their ideas. Or a person who doesn't pursue their real interests and loves. You define yourself by that. Well, you know, I guess well, I start yeah. things and I quit. No, you don't. No, you have started things and you quit. And it gives you a horrible sense of regret that's made you define yourself by that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You, we all do things that we're not happy that we did. But that doesn't mean that's you now. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I, I think people that, that hurt people's feelings, even if you justify it, you know you did something. And I think that thing, that fucks with your head and it, it devalues you in your own eyes. You're not a hero in your own eyes. You're not, you're not someone who you respect. You know, you're doing what you got to do to get by, but ultimately you're not respecting yourself. 
And I think we all have a certain amount of appreciation and respect for hero figures. You know, like we all look at like the guy who never lies and always does the right thing and fucking helps everybody out. And that's the John Wayne character. You know, that's that's the, right. the ultimate hero. And when you look at your own life and you don't stack up, you're a thief. You stole money from your wife's purse, and you know you 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 you, you don't want to smoke cigarettes, but you can have to. You, you can't deal with the stress. You smoke. You devalue yourself. You slowly start devaluing yourself. You when you look at yourself, you realize that if you were judging yourself, you would judge yourself unfavorably. If you're stealing, if you're hurting people, if you're damaging 100%. people. One hundred percent. So no matter who you you can't pretend you're the the the, the hero of, of your story. You can't. You have to be the hero of your own story, and you can do that. You can be the hero of your own story that woke up today. You can be the hero of your own story that, at 40 years of age, stopped, got out of bed, and said, "I'm not doing this anymore. I'm doing this differently. 100 I am gonna figure this out, and I'm 100%. gonna do it only by my instincts, and only by my morals, and my ideals, and my mind. And I'm gonna be dead honest with myself because I'm realizing this is not gonna last forever. And I'm gonna be the nicest." human being to everyone I meet possibly and I'm gonna get myself in shape and I'm gonna eat healthy and I'm gonna do this because this is me. this is me now I decide that this is me and people have to realize that you are not your past you are not all oh, the yeah. times you fucked up you are not all the times you couldn't get it up you are not all the times you were drunk and you know and you, you, you threw up in someone's car that's not you well, you, you are the person who's learned from a great deal of experiences. And if you learn correctly, and if you process them correctly, you'll have a happier life. Look, there's a lot of ways you could look at bad events. You could say a bad event is just who you are. You just have bad events, and you're a loser, and <laughs> life hates you, and God hates you. And oh, look at that. Happening to Mike again. Can't <laughs> can believe it. There's a lot of guys who go through life like that. And, you know, they can say that they seek comfort in lowering the standards that they expect out of things. So when things go bad and they say, well, I fucking knew it for them, it like <laughs> alleviates some concern about what's going to happen in the future because the future is always dog shit. It's hard to be comfortable with yourself. So it's very hard to be comfortable with other people. That's why I always stress with people like you've got to accept yourself for what you've done wrong. Do your best and also find some difficult shit to do because that gets away a lot of the anxiety that you carry around in your body. A lot of the, like f difficult things make regular life less difficult. And that sounds so simplistic. The strain of making yourself do those things, it's very valuable. It's not just valuable like exercise and fitness and martial arts and running and whatever you're doing that's really difficult. It's not just valuable in terms of like health and the way you look, but it's also valuable for your mind. Maybe even more so. Because regular life can be confusing and little things that go wrong and little problems that arise are exacerbated by the fact that you're not accustomed to dealing with hardship. So creating your own bulk is extremely valuable for you also, not, not just accepting the nuanced perspectives of other people, but also being able to navigate through this world with some sort of an understanding of just how complex it all is and how weird it all is and, and, and not be overly thrown off by every little dip in the road and pothole that you encounter. Everybody's got these stupid barriers they put in their own head. You gotta resist those goddamn things because they don't do you any good and they certainly define the potential for your future in a negative way. It's not self-serving and it's not even real. You know, you, you, you put this artificial ceiling on the potential for what you're doing. If you hit a wall, okay, that just means you need to regroup and rethink. It doesn't mean that wall's there, especially when it comes to something like social media or like a, a podcast, something where you're just, you're putting out a piece of art, you're putting out something that you've created. There's no wall as far as like how many people are going to enjoy it or how far it's going to go. It's just, it is what it is. And if people don't like it, make it better. If they like it less, fix that. F figure out a way to do it. You can do that. And this, this idea that there's no way to get past the starting block today is just ludicrous. It's crazy. And it's just this, this poor thinking. Poor thinking.
Hang around killers with racks on me. I done made me some plays and put tax on it. If you good to come all the way back from it. When you up, they gon' say that you act funny.